In this video I'll show you how to determine and save exact point locations on the radar images, whether the mosaics or the individual radars. And from our Get Next Red Help page, you can see here where we determine and save exact point locations. Let's skip down below to that, uh, those instructions. And included with uh, Get Next Red, when we installed it, we installed a program called latlongpixels.exe. Let's go to where we installed Get Next Red. Um, let me see where we were. Uh, we were put it in C colon, program files, Get Next Red. And uh, if we click on that, there's our program, Latlong Pixels. So let's double click on that. And it shows that we need a radar site code and the latitude and longitude of our point. Let's say we have a house in San Diego, California that we'd like to find the latitude and longitude for. And to do that, let's use Google Earth. You could use my program gitmaparea.ac uh, or Google Maps. But let's use Google Earth here. Let's just zoom in San Diego. Uh, say my house is out here on this point. Right there. There's my house. Okay, so to find the latitude and longitude, make sure your tools, options, show lat long are in decimal degrees. You can do that right there. Cancel. So wherever our hand is, uh, it'll tell us what the latitude and longitude are down here. So let's put it on our house. And it's 32, lat 32665, and longitude minus 117426. Let's go back to our program now that we've got it. And our longitude is, longitude is the x, which is minus. 117.243. Um, three digits of precision is enough for our program. Okay, 32.665 latitude in the y direction. Uh, and let's just, we don't need to include the decimals, let's convert it. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> It's not on this radar. This is over in Nevada. So we need to find the radar site code. And to do that, let's start up uh, our getnextrad.exe program. Click on that. And let's select the my radar gifts. Let's go to the USA. Click all down. There's that. We'll come over here to San Diego on that and we'll get the regional mosaic and uh, down over here San Diego click on that and the radar for the San Diego area is NKX NKX San Diego California and the image name is NKX and or zero GIF okay so NKX is the radar code let's go back to our that long exe and put in um, NKX. And now I'll try to convert it. And we've got uh, the pixel located from the upper left here it would be uh, over 276 pixels and down. Uh, 304 pixels right around in our area here. So now let's just save, uh, let's just exit this and it'll prompt us to save the location. Would you like to create a single boundary and point file? Yes. And we need a data type site ID. And that consists of the number 10 plus three additional digits. So 10. Let's call this number one zero zero one ten zero zero one just like that ten zero zero one. Okay, 
and a title for it would be My House and Cow. Okay. Next, add a boundary and point file names have been created. Now we need to copy them both to our uh, Nextred GIF file directory, which is up here. My, you know, program files get next read. My radar gifts is the directory we need to copy them to. Let's, let's say OK. Let's see where we are here on uh, get next read, where our program here was located. Let's find where those things went. There they are. They were just created. Let's copy them to my radar gifts. Let's paste them here. And there we are. And we should be set to go to read these. Let's see what's in these things. There's the boundary, my house and cow, and there's the perimeter coordinates. And the point file just has one point. Okay. So let's go to um, back to our our uh, radar site. And let's do a right click on this, and now we can select a boundary. The boundary is my house in Cal, the one we just created. Let's click on that, and there we go. Zoom in, and we should be out there on that point in uh, <laughs> Well, there's a lot of fog in the area, I guess. Can't do much about that, but there you go.